Nene's just talking to herself over here. I'm really excited about this. Look what they just did! Janae! <laughs> They are putting in a sprinkler system. Cool. Yeah. So that's kind of like a sprinkler? Yeah, you know how we do the PVC pipe and it shoots water out? Yeah. They're going to do that, but under our backyard. Cool. Yeah. We can and then, use them as sprinklers. Yep, it'll be automatically timed on our phone. Are they mowing it? No, they're they're putting in sprinklers. Pipes really? underground. Yeah. Hey Caleb, I think you got a little too much in the bowl. Dad, I think he was a little bit excited. This is your first time to get to do Cheerios since the gluten, right? Gluten free? Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Cheerios have oat bran in them, which only just barely has Caleb been allowed to eat. He's pretty excited. How's it taste? I used to love these kinds. It tastes amazing. I think Chex is the only cereal we've had since we found out about celiac disease. You want some breakfast? Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Mimi. Oh, we're getting some clothes ready for the trip? Yeah. Yep, there's a sprinkler head. When people come to work at our house, I don't think they fully realize that there's gonna be an audience most of the day. So what did he just tell you guys about doing sprinklers? What's it like? It's kind of like, like unzip this side, put it under, and then zip it back. Like a surgery. It's uh -huh. like cutting open yeah. the skin, what fixing it up. Do? stuff under but it's not gonna shoot out because they're gonna cover it up only certain yeah. parts that have heads on it and then that part will shoot water out it like goes it's a little bit up. yeah like this we'll have to be careful when we're running <laughs> well the, it'll go down though in the ground today is a really busy day because we are leaving on our trip to san francisco tomorrow so i've got lots of packing and just preparations to do but for school we have one more big topic about san francisco that i want to study and it's the redwood forest i'm really excited about this redwood forest da, da, da. they are the tallest living things on the planet redwoods regularly grow to be more than two hundred feet tall. A redwood trunk can be 29 feet in diameter at its base. That's so wide that a tunnel can be cut in it, big enough for a car to drive through. New trees can sprout on We're gonna see the redwood trees in California? We are. Do you wanna go? Yeah! Today, but we're going tomorrow. And we're gonna have to wait one more day. Yep, which I was waiting for. Here's my redwood forest. Oh, is this the redwood forest you built? Yeah. Very nice. Can we see inside it? Oh, oh. is there a person in there? Yeah. We're reading more about redwood trees. So how heavy do you think a redwood tree is? Let's get everybody's guesses. I'm just gonna guess 50,000 pounds. I think 10,000 pounds. 39 and 60. 39 and 60? Mm -hmm. Whoa, you're serious. I think it's 300,000 pounds. Dun, dun, dun. Caleb, how heavy is a redwood tree? 400,000 pounds. <laughs> Okay, are you guys ready for the answer? Yeah. yeah, I'm curious. The answer is the heaviest redwood tree, 1.6 million pounds. <laughs> That's heavy. That is 
heavy. So we already learned that redwood trees have very thick bark and that protects them against fire damage, which is amazing. But how thick do you think the bark actually is? I'm gonna say three feet thick. Three feet thick for bark? Remember, bark is usually like paper thin. I think one foot long. Two yeah. feet and a half. I'll go three and a half feet. Three, three hundred. Three hundred? Oh, How many feet do you think is the bark? Binky. One. Well, the answer is Elise and Janae are correct. It is one foot. After the one million pounds, I was like gonna go above this time. But so we came out to a nature sanctuary to go on a hike among the trees that we're used to around here, which is walnut trees and oak trees and maple trees, to try to get a sense of that difference when we go to the redwoods. All right, we need a starting line, Caleb. Right here. This is our starting line. So we're measuring out the height of trees as though it was laying flat on the ground. So the average height of a maple tree, a red maple tree, is 70 feet. So let's walk 70 feet and put a marker. And go. We're at 30 feet right now. This is long. 51 feet, 63, 65, 69, 70 feet, right here. 70 feet, Isaac, put a marker down. A red maple tree. Whoa. So everybody step back so we can see from the beginning point. Okay, that is the height of an average red maple tree. That's super thick. So a pine tree averages from 50 to 100 feet tall. So we're gonna see a really tall pine tree. Okay, 100 right here. Boom. All right, so that is a super duper tall pine tree. I never knew a tree could be that tall. Okay, you guys ready? So you are at 70 feet, which is the average height of a red maple. Now you're gonna go to 80 feet, which is the height of an oak tree. That was 10 feet. 10 feet, all right, put a marker down, Isaac. That seems really short for 10 feet. So from the beginning, we have a starting point. We have a red maple tree. We have an oak tree. Janae's in. Everybody line up at 100 feet. This is the starting point. Are you guys ready? An average coastal redwood tree is between 200 to 250 feet tall. More than twice the size of Okay, so we're gonna go to 250. Let's go. And we're there, 150 feet from the last mark. So this is the height of an average coastal redwood tree. But do you guys remember how tall the tallest coastal redwood tree is? 379.7 feet. Yes, and that's Hyperion. We're gonna go to 379.7 feet, which means we need to do how many more feet from here? 129.7 feet. 129.7 feet, let's go. Okay, we have 129.7 more feet. Let's do it. Ready, go. Oh, Janae's going the other direction. Janae! Janae, nay. We literally said go, and she went the opposite direction of everybody. <laughs> hey. 129, right here. Wait, one. I want you guys all to look back at the very first cone. Can you even see it? No. No. That is how tall the tallest redwood tree is. Yeah. You guys want to run back? There's our drone up there right now. Jeremy's having fun filming with it. This shows us exactly how high up we are in feet. So you can see what it would look like directly above us. All right, so this is the view from 50 feet. Do you want to see the view from 379 feet? Yeah. So here's the drone at 50 feet. 
Yeah. You see my red shirt? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. How high up are you? 200. 200. Let's see if we can get it to 300 oh, before the battery dies. that's the average redwood. Yep, that's the average redwood right there. Whoa. What? Okay. We're right now at 300 and 79 feet right there. Okay, look up at it. Oh my goodness, that's how tall the redwood trees are gonna be. <laughs> well, that's how tall the tallest redwood tree is. Isn't it funny that we're in a midget forest compared to the redwoods? And yet, it's gorgeous. Hey mom, there's a there's a redwood tree. There's a tree that's dying and it's a little red. That one with the leaves that are red? Is that the redwood tree, Laura? Is look at the bark. Do you guys see the bark over there? Mm -hmm. How thick is that bark? Like an inch, maybe. Even thinner. And the redwood bark like was how thick? One, one foot. One foot. One foot. Well, our trees might not be as tall as the redwood trees, but it's still absolutely beautiful here. And the weather today, this is amazing. Gymnastics time. You guys are learning. As part of lunch, we're having raspberries. What are you grateful for, buddy? I am grateful for our deck. We've been out there a lot with the rain. I am grateful for my body and what my body can do. I'm grateful for chocolate chip pancakes. Gluten free ones. I'm grateful for Grandma and Papa and Mama and Dad and Isaac and Anise and Caleb. So packing a family of seven for a two week trip is really overwhelming to me. Sometimes I feel like it's like eating an elephant. So I get easily overwhelmed unless I focus on simple things. Like for example, what are all my kids wearing on our travel day tomorrow? I can figure that out, that's doable. They all need a few pairs of pajamas. I'll get that done next. How many pairs of underwear do they need? Let's do that. Like if I think pack everyone, I'm stuck like a deer in the headlights. But when I focus on small pieces and just keep going, like find everybody's swimsuits, find everybody's sweatshirts, then slowly but surely I get it done. So we're learning how to use the sprinkler system that just got put in. Talking to herself over here. is going to keep working all night. Jay has oh. <laughs> This is a weird <laughs> Did you have some sugar? 